Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. This is Lauren again, happy holidays. Today we're gonna to be going over the core Samsung French door refrigeration line, kind of showing you each step as you go up in the line, starting out with their entry level. So this one is the RF28T5001 SR in stainless. So let's look into this. Now, first off, this is 28 cubic feet. So this is standard depth, it's not counter depth. Um, but let's go into the fridge. If we're looking at the exterior of this, this is non, it has no dispenser on the outside. Um, and let's open it up and see what it looks like. <clears throat> so the interior on this, LED lighting, just on the top there, it looks like you have about five bulbs there. Uh, it's got all around cooling, so it's gonna constantly kind of kick on a fan that keeps the air circulating around so your door bins aren't getting warm when you have your milk or your beverages on your, on your door. It's gonna keep the air moving around constantly. It's got your adjustable shelves here, glass, still not super plasticky, but entry level. Typically you might have a little bit more plastic in these, so I do like Samsung's entry level kind of feel to it. Um, your humidity control drawers, you got low to high, low to high, and then you have your crisper drawer here with, um, I don't believe you have a temperature setting on the bottom here. Um, it does have your water filter for your ice, so no internal water dispenser either. You notice there's no little pad to fill up on the inside. Some of those re uh, refrigerators, you might have that. But it does have your capability to make ice, and we'll go into the freezer here in a second. Uh, on the door bins, we do have your gallon storage bins here. So you can adjust these. Look like they have a few different settings to adjust. It looks like you can adjust one, two, three, four, five, six different levels, depending on where you want those bins. Uh, but let's go down to the freezer, take a look at it. So, looks like it does have the pop-out kind of handle here. If you have a sticky seal, this kind of helps pop it out. On this, it looks like you do have your ice maker in the back corner there. So that's what that water filter's for that we saw in the middle of the fridge there. It does have one pull-out drawer, and then it has your double storage bin for your French door on the bottom. So that's the entry level, and we're gonna step up to the next model. All right, guys, this brings us to our number two choice. This is next up in the Samsung line. Same exact cubic feet. This is about 27, 28 cubic feet. Uh, this is the RF27T5201SR uh, in stainless steel. Now, they do make these in black stainless steel. I forgot to mention that last video. Uh, and they also might offer it in Tuscan stainless, which I'll, I'll show you a preview of what that looks like. But stainless and black stainless are still our most popular models. But let's look at this fridge. The first main difference that we see is that this one does have your external water and ice dispenser. So you can control water cubed or crushed right from there. So just by changing those settings, like we've seen before, you could, you could get water um, or ice. This also locks, if you hold the water for three seconds, it'll actually lock down um, the dispenser so you can actually access it, um, stuff like that. So let's go into the interior of the fridge. Really similar, honestly. Uh, the biggest difference, I mean, if we're looking at the lighting like we did last time, five LED lights, no lighting on the side. It's got the Ice Max feature, which basically makes 2.5, um, your production is about 2.5 times its normal uh, ice making capability. And I'll show you how to activate that. Uh, I didn't tell you last time, but this is the same exact control panel for the most part as the last fridge we just looked at. Uh, you got your fridge, power cool, that's gonna crank up the compressor just so if you just open the fridge up, you're stocking it full of groceries, all that cold air comes out, power cool's gonna crank up the compressor and allow you to stock um, this fridge and, and for it to cool down, get back to temperature faster. Um, power freeze, um, same thing if you're stocking the freezer, does the same exact thing. Your ice maker, I talked about how to activate that ice max. You just push this button here, let me see if it, oh, it's locked on me, I'm gonna hold this for three seconds. That unlocks the control panel. Then here it goes, rapid ice, uh, ice maker on, right? So that's gonna crank up the production of ice. If I push it again, it just goes into regular ice mode. Um, and then if you just want the ice maker off, you could turn that off. Um, looking at the kind of the capacity on your ice maker here. So if you notice this one takes up a little bit of space since we did add the ice maker up top. There's kind of your look on your, on your I don't know the exact uh, capacity. I know someone's probably gonna ask me, but that's your capacity there. But we did notice, if we wanna take a look on this side, we have our gallon storage bin um, that is basically taken away because of the ice maker. So these are very similar as the last one on this side. But this side, since we have this ice maker, it's gonna take away some of our capabilities there. You could probably still put a gallon of milk here, 
in this spot, but for the most part, having this does take away a little bit of, of door space for storage. Um, your humidity control do doors here, I didn't really explain this last time, um, but for the most part, oh, there's our door alarm since we have the uh, fridge open. It's gonna beep at us. <clears throat> but you have your low to high on your humidity control. Most of your, your fruit and vegetables like to be at a high humidity control. That just keeps air, um, humidity kind of maintained. It, it tries to do it at like 95% humidity. It's basically what the goal of that is. That's what your fruits and vegetables like. Overall, your fridge is gonna be dry, 65% humidity, uh, and, but it stays about the same temperature, but just kind of maintains that humidity just so produce lasts longer. <clears throat> oh, and then real quick, I didn't pop this out in the last one. Same thing. This water filter, you could access it for right there. The last one had it, it just didn't have the exterior water uh, water capability. And the uh, this last one had the ice maker. This one has the ice maker up top. And let's pull this out for the freezer. This pops out here. This one might have, it looks like it has the capability of adding a second ice maker. I'll look that up and let you guys know. Uh, but yeah, same exact layout down here as we've seen in the last one, minus you can't get your, your ice on this, but I'll let you guys know in the comments if you can actually access ice in this refrigerator. All right, guys, and let's move on to number three. All right, guys, this brings us to our number three in the line. This is the 28 cubic foot Samsung. Now this is the RF28R7351, again, in stainless steel, so SR on the end of that bottle number. Uh, but looking at the exterior of the fridge here, what do we notice here? A couple things. Uh, this one does have your middle drawer. We'll get into that in a second. But your control panel right here on your ice maker, or on the water dispenser, ice maker is gonna be exactly the same. Water crushed uh, and cubed right there. One other accent that we see kind of on the fridge, on this door you have this little metal bar here. This one actually has a trigger. So I'm gonna go ahead and, and pull this trigger and open that side. Metal cooling, you're gonna see that throughout this fridge. It's a sheet of metal that actually kind of maintains that temperature of the, the, the cold a little bit easier. So it kind of helps regulate the temperature of it. But this is your quick access drawer. So when you access this, you could actually grab your gallons of milk, orange juice, stuff like that. It has little metal dividers that you can kind of flip and turn to kind of adjust and divide things. Um, and that's when I pull the trigger on this to access that. So again, there's the metal dividers that you could kind of choose here. So I'm gonna close this door. I'm not gonna pull the trigger and just open it up. This gets into the basically the whole fridge here. Um, you can still access this from this side if you want to, but I'm gonna open up the other side as well. So now we notice, and this is a couple different things, lights, looks like it's got twice as many LED strips. So this is a brighter refrigerator. Um, has a couple different things in your shelf line. Um, has a flip drawer, so you can keep things upright. It's got a slide out drawer here. Metal cooling in the back, again, just kind of regulating that temperature. Uh, Ice Max, same thing we seen in the last one. Your control panel, right here on the side here, fridge. It's got an auto fill pitcher. So let's go over that real quick. So basically right here has, uh, looks like it's up to 48 ounces of water. So you could actually have this filtered water filled and as you use it, it'll actually auto fill back up to the regular spot. So a really cool feature. Um, a lot of these have it, it actually has a spot for, uh, you could put different fruits or whatever. If you want to add a you know, little uh, zing to your water, you could actually throw some stuff in there. So pretty cool. <coughs> One of my favorite features, I guess, of that fridge. Um, humidity control drawers. You notice you have a little bit of darker accents in here. Not sure exactly what that does, but I imagine it kind of helps with light and preserving your, your produce and your fruits and stuff. Um, going into the exterior, actually we kind of went over that. Same exact kind of layout here. Again, kind of darker accents on the plastic rather than clear. So it kind of makes it look a little bit cooler with the metal cooling that may be more so than what the uh, these are for, for aesthetic rather than kind of purpose of produce and stuff like that. Um, but let's go into the middle drawer. So on our setting here, let's see, the flex zone. Oh, it's locked, hold this for three seconds. This has another section, the flex zone. So it's got wine, 41 to 55 degrees Celsius, deli 37 degrees, beverage 34 degrees, and then meat 30 degrees. So I'm gonna close this. Pull this open. So this is your flex zone. 
good there. We just saw the temperature settings. It looks like this is taped down so I can't move it. Oh, yeah, there it is. So you can kind of move this around to where you want it to divide stuff up, but it's kind of nice for kids, easy access for the things that they like, but also dividing things up if you want to control different zones a little bit more precise. This is kind of a separate zone altogether, so you're not really sharing that much air between uh, the fridge and this guy. Freezer to still probably a, lot, a little less freezer capacity, I guess, is the downside of this particular fridge, just because um, this flex zone does cut into your freezer space. So if you get this fridge, you may consider having an extra freezer as a backup. Uh, a lot of people had those anyway, but this just has a little bit less freezer space. But the interior on this, it doesn't look like this one has a second ice maker capability, just one, one single ice maker. If you wanted to add one in, you cannot in this model. Um, but yeah, and you actually have a divider too. This one comes with a divider. We didn't see that until this model here. This actually moves around a little bit more room for just organizing, stuff like that. All right, guys, cool fridge. Again, available in stainless and black stainless steel. And let's move on to number four. All right, guys, this brings us to number four in the lineup. This is a Samsung Family Hub model. This one's the RF27T5501. SR again in stainless steel. Now this one actually has the hub or it's basically a tablet in your fridge here. Really cool features, a lot of things that you can do on this. I'm just gonna get into the, some of the basic things that you can do and then we'll go to the aesthetics of the fridge because there's tons of things you can do with this. So one thing, once you have it plugged in, you can upload pictures to this. So I'm gonna do this doggy. Next, done. You can add this, you can actually move this guy wherever you want. So there's a lot of different things you could customize. You guys are familiar with iPads and tablets, stuff like that. So you guys could do all kinds of stuff. Basically everything you could do with a tablet, you could do with this. So really cool. But one thing that you can't do with your tablet necessarily, um, let's go into, I'm gonna slide to the right. This kind of gets us into the basic inter interior of the fridge here. Um, here we go, view inside. Really cool feature that a lot of people are gonna like. This one actually has cameras, and I'll point them out here in a second, on the inside of this fridge, and it does have food recognition too. So as you're stocking the fridge, things move around, it's gonna kind of detect what that is, and it's gonna even be able to detect what that food might be. So a really cool feature. Uh, again, we probably have to do another video just on everything you could do on this tablet. It's got a speaker in here, you could play Pandora, um, Spotify, YouTube, you could do Grubhub straight from this tablet here. Pretty cool. Um, something that Samsung's kind of taken the lead with as they're in kind of the tablet electronics industry already. But let's go into the interior of the fridge. All right, looking at the exterior, I guess, real quick. Uh, this one does have the same exact setup that we've seen in the before. Interior, this is just like our number two option. Um, we'll insert the, the model number of number two, but same exact interior. Uh, it's got the one constant drawer across the top here, um, all around cooling that we've seen five LED lights, ice maker in the exact spot, humidity control in the exact spot, water filter in the exact spot. Oh, this one, pop out drawer, same exact thing as number two on the interior here. Really the, what you're gaining um, is the hub. It's basically same exact cubic feet, about 27 cubic feet. So same exact as number two, just adding the hub. So really cool if you like the electronics, like being kind of plugged in all that stuff, this is it. Um, the also on this, if you, I told you, I'll show you where the cameras are at on the inside of this flap. This is where it takes a picture of the inside of your fridge. Looks like it has three kind of wide, wide angle cameras to kind of capture all things in your fridge. But all right guys, that's my number four pick and let's move on to number five. All right guys, this is our final one. This is our fifth or sixth, I'm not sure which one it is. Model, this is five, I'm getting, I'm getting shown five. So this is our fifth model, this is the, the Bespoke series. So looking at this, what that means is there's a lot of ways you can design this. So it's got all these different control panels that you could actually change out here. So if you want this white glass type look, you could do that, you could add navy steel, you could add clementine glass, you could add sunrise yellow, there's all kinds of different things. And you could buy each one of these panels separately. And it comes in like three different styles basically. It's got your three door French door style, it's got your four-door French door style, kind of like what we've seen in the other models, and it's got your four-door flex. 
since we haven't looked at a four-door flex yet, that's why I want to show you guys this one to kind of go over the features on what the spoke means and kind of what um, you can do with it. So again, main thing, you really get customizable with your look. You can basically get any kitchen, get this fridge, it'll match in any kitchen. You can do all kinds of different colors like I said before. But four-door flex, what does that mean? So you got four different doors. I'm gonna open up the top one first here. So what we looked at, we actually have your, your storage bins in the nice kind of darker finish here for your plastic storage bins. It's got your triple metal cooling. Um, you have the big metal sheet that goes all the way across the back. It's got the UV deodorizing filter as well. What that is, it actually has a little UV light in the back that actually shines right on your, your air filter. It'll kill any bacteria or anything like that. So they claim that you won't have to replace that, that air filter ever. Basically, as long as your UV light works, it's gonna to continue to kill anything on that air filter. Um, but let's look at the lighting again. Um, we got the LED strips now. We got four LED strips rather than just one across the top. Um, it's got one collapsible shelf here. This is one full shelf that goes all the way across. It's got a flex crisper. So you can actually choose what you're gonna have in this crisper. Here's your control panel, kinda like what we've seen. Let's see, the pan to flex zone, flex crisper, fridge, meat fish, basically two options there. But nice to customize that. It's got your express water filter, kind of a nice little aesthetic cap here for your express water filter to change that out. Um, and then it has your, your final crisper on the left side. Um, and I believe you could change your temperature setting from there. Let's see. Nope, it doesn't look like it. But you can control your temperatures from right on this little control panel, fridge, freezer, and it also has your flex zone. So flex zone is right here and you can actually choose beverage, freeze, soft freeze, meat, fish, fruits and veggies, beverage. You can actually choose if you want this to be a freezer or a fridge is basically what you can choose on this. So if you have, you want to have maybe you have a backup freezer you could actually use this as a fridge you could actually have this whole top thing a fridge this whole top side thing a fridge and then you could have this just a freezer on the left side here's our, our door alarms are going off and then going into the uh, ice maker on this guy this pulls out and you actually have two different styles of ice you could do you have cubed ice and you have ice bites kind of like Sonic, I guess, if you have, if you like the way those ice is at uh, where they're kind of smaller cubes, this one does make ice in two different styles, depending on what you do like. But one thing I didn't touch base on, oh, I guess we'll finish on this since we're here. You got your different doors there across the bin. Look like you got three on each side for the, the, the flex zone or the all purpose freezer. Um, this pulls out, this adjusts too to kind of access things quickly. Same thing on this side, this all adjusts and it's got kind of your different meat fish, pizza, whatever you're gonna put into that drawer, you can kind of choose in there. Last thing that I forgot to show you guys, on the interior of this left door, it's got an open beverage center. So I'm gonna push the bottom, there's a little flap here, open that up. It's got metal cooling on the left side here to kind of keep you nice and, nice and cool, whatever's gonna be in here. It's got your beverage center. So this, same thing we've seen in the last one, um, this one doesn't give me, oh yeah, it does 48 ounces just like we've seen in the last one. Again, it's got your spot where you can put whatever you want in there for your flavored water. Auto fill as well, so it'll actually fill up as soon as you use it. It's got the beverage center right on this side um, to dispense your, your water. So pretty cool. So really cool on the bespoke line. Again, they make it in three different styles, the flex, the four door, and the three door French door. And we can include those model numbers somewhere in here. But thanks for watching guys like and subscribe i hope you guys like the overview of samsung's line i know they have a lot more refrigerators but that kind of gets the core models of what they have thanks for watching and we'll see you guys next week